welcome back to our show here at Metreon in San Francisco. House of the Dead 2 is a really difficult game and not one that you would normally consider conducive to educational purposes. But the folks over at Sega have yet again let their bizarre creative juices overflow and have found a way to mix learning and the undead. Most people don't have fond memories of their typing class. Can't really say that it was graphically intensive, nor did it get your pulse pounding. But that's a little bit different when you play Typing of the Dead from Sega. It takes House of the Dead 2, and instead of giving you a light gun, you have a keyboard. Certain phrases appear on the screen, and if you type them in fast enough and correctly, you will kill the zombies that are coming after you. Now this may seem like a pretty kooky idea for a game, and of course it is, but it's proved quite popular in the arcade. So popular in fact that now it's out for your Dreamcast. Now, using the keyboard peripheral, you can type phrases like bleed to death and wallowing in melancholy in the privacy of your own living room. If you don't know how to type, well that's okay. The Dreamcast version gives you an added bonus. Hi, my name is James. I'm an AMS agent. You're about to start some serious training. If you want to be able to live to take your pension, start training. This is what happens if you can't... Ah! So if your parents won't buy you House of the Dead because it's too violent, Typing of the Dead might be the way to go. Not only is it tons of fun, it's sure to help you get high marks in typing class. This is called the home position. So, how can Adam kill all those zombies when he only types with two fingers? Now, Fantavision was the sole contribution that Sony made to the PS2 launch. Well, except, of course, the PS2. Here's the intro. nothing like new technology going retro. Now Madden 2001 for the PlayStation 2 is a heightened simulation and as a result can be a rather difficult game for some players. So what better way to get advice than to go to an actual NFL player who won the Madden championship. It doesn't get better than NFL football, but what do you do after the big bowl is over? You bust out Madden 2001 for the PS2, that's what. But if you're having trouble making it to the end zone, don't sweat it. We got some coaching from a pro. Well, here we are at the San Francisco 49ers training facility, and with me right now is Terry Jackson, who plays for the San Francisco 49ers, and also happens to be the champion of the 2000 Madden Bowl that occurred back in January of this year. So what are the three most important things for any Madden player to be thinking about to ensure that they're going to have a good chance of winning from playing Madden football? Basically, find a good defense. That's your number one thing. Damn. If you can shut somebody down, and it's going to set you up to, you know, be be, be victorious in these games. That oh. Davis gets the call. Well, I think you got to have the mindset that you're going to be victorious. And you know, when you know, a lot of guys play, you, you talk to your players. You know, you talk to yourself. You're psyching everything up. Okay, you also want to look for mismatches. Look for your best mismatches, spread guys out, do a lot of different things. Out over to the left, and he's got his man. If the team has a, has a linebacker guarding a receiver, then you take advantage of that and you go for that position. You know, you have, a, you have like fast running backs or something like that, you got to use that person, the best player on your team, to make the best plays. I use the Jacksonville Jaguars, and I actually used a buddy of mine to kill everybody, Fred Taylor. He's one of the fastest running backs in the game, so I used him to just totally dominate, and I gave it to him pretty much every play, and I couldn't get stopped. You have a play that nobody can stop, keep going with it. When I play with the 49ers, I definitely give it to myself every time. Oh, what happens if you get a little bit too predictable, if you, you know, always are tossing to, to... Then you're gonna get beat. I mean, yeah. <laughs> that was, if you know what somebody's gonna do, it makes it very easy as a defensive player to, to stop that person. And you can do hot routes. And this is very key to the game. This was very key to my success. When they have the plays, they have regular routes. You press the top button here, the triangle, I look at the receiver I want to, and I can change his route while I'm at the line. Finally, go for it. I mean, you got to take chances on offense and defense. Don't be afraid to try new things. Let's see that one again. Have fun with the game. Just go for it, and you'll be successful. 
If you didn't get your fill of Terry Jackson, then you can check out the full interview at our website. Or if you have a strategy of your own, come share it with us, post it on our message boards. And don't forget about our chats on Mondays at 6 p.m. Eastern. We'd like to thank Metreon for hosting us today. That about does it for this edition of the show. It does. Until next time, game, game over. over.